Good morning everyone, welcome to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk. And just as yesterday we are still in Oslo. But this time we are not in Sleepy Hustle. We are as central as you can get. Um, we are around Central Station here on the main square. So in front of us there, we have the central train station and I think we will go in there in a bit. But first let's uh, wander around a little bit. It is Sunday morning, it is around 10 o'clock. And um, I recently discovered that all the shops are closed here on Sunday. So I don't know exactly what is open and what not. Um, Maybe the cafes are open and things like that, but um, yeah, let's have a look. It's not so cold, it's been raining during the night, but actually now it's not raining, so it's fine, I think. I think the sun should come out any moment. Actually, no, let's go this side a little bit. I noticed that a lot of the shops are very same as in Sweden, like for example the Forex Bank and chains like that are very uh, similar than Sweden. So maybe I should go around the block a little bit here. So I kind of make a circle around the central. Same thing as yesterday, like I wake up before everyone else does, so I have a little time to walk. But also today I'm going home, so I probably won't even make it back to my hotel before I go to the airport, let's see. So maybe I'll go for another walk a little later today. So I walk, I go to a cafe and upload it. And then maybe go somewhere else. Second. My shoelaces. All right, this is boring. Let's go this way. Yeah, the buildings in the inner city are actually also quite similar to, uh, to Stockholm, I would say. But they use a few different colors, like for example that color blue, that you would never see downtown in Stockholm. Let's go a bit on this side. Oh, here you have those rent rental bicycles, I think. That's quite nice. 
instead of scooters and also nicely organized so they're not just parked anywhere but I don't know if they're for free no they're locked somehow oh yeah I think it's with an app because I see a QR code One thing you will see immediately when you come to uh, Norway is the amount of electrical cars. I think they're by far the number one in electrical car vehicles, vehicles right now. So yeah, a lot of you ask me always to show more streets where we are. We are, are at the Carl Johan street. I like the light in this street. It's coming from the right side here. Wonderful building. Cafe Cathedral. So nice. So it's like restaurants in the inside the cathedral here. Funny, Condomeriet, that is a shop that only sells condoms and condoms related things. I mean, it's important, but I'm not sure if you need a complete shop for it. Nice little passage. Comfort hotel, call you one. Cool. So yes, this is the cathedral here. Oslo Dom Kyrka. Eller Kirker. Maybe they say in uh, Norwegian, not sure. Not sure if they have the sh sound. One thing I've noticed here downtown is that I see a lot of more homeless people out on the street sleeping and sitting in corners and stuff. So I think they have a bit of a situation with that. Nice little square here with a market. Let's have a look at the statue over there. Ah, Christian the fourth, the founder of Christiana. There he is, the big man himself. I love sleepy mornings when everyone is still in bed, but I'm walking around in town. Oh, wow. This is the first Christmas tree of the year, I see. This is too early. No Christmas y trees yet for me. A 
And yes, as I thought, all the shops are closed on Sunday. But the cafes are open, so I'll sit in one later on. <laughs> Tack. Yeah, there was a bit of a confusion who should cross first. It was a typical case of uh, over popular, <laughs> over, um, how do you say it? Polite Scandinavian behavior. She was like, you go first. I was like, no, you go first. No, you go first. So even the espresso house, which we all know is my favorite chain, it seems to be closed right now. This is a very nice street with cool lightning as well. There's like ray of light coming in at the back. Wonderful. Sorry, today my camera seems to tilt a little bit like up and down. I don't know why. It's probably because my battery is a bit low so it doesn't react really as I want. So sorry about that. El Dorado. Yeah, oh, they also have Joe the Juice here. Torgata. Torgata. Oh, falafel. I haven't had a falafel yet since I've been here. Maybe today it's time for lunch. It's a 69 crowns, which is very cheap for Norwegian standards. Norway is by far the most expensive country I've ever been. And that's even saying it from a Swedish perspective, like Sweden is very expensive, but Norway is really the king of <laughs> Like some things are like two, three times more expensive than they are in Sweden. For example, unhealthy food like snacks, candy, chips, things like that are ridiculously expensive. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got the church, the square, Carl Johan's Gata. And so Central Station is back that way. What is here? Grönelöka. Whatever that means. Ah, Oktoberfest. Nice. don't exactly know what that says like I do understand most of the Norwegian but not everything I would say like 
it's also a matter of finding Wi-Fi somewhere because otherwise I can't even upload this video I mean I can try on 4G but oh thanks the people are very polite with driving here I noticed that like taxi drivers people they just yeah they stop even if it's not really like red or whatever oh the sun is coming through really now nice have a lot of squares here in Oslo with a lot of spaces in between really nice it's not super green I guess it's also because it's like almost November now so it doesn't look so green because all the trees you know lost their leaves but It's a great color, look at that building over there. Oh, walking straight into the sun. Don't see much. Ah, oh, I see a scooter lying on the floor. I think you guys know enough now. They have a similar problem here, but it's not as bad as in Stockholm though. The ones I see are better part and they're way less. At least, at least what I've seen in the last few days, so. That's okay. All right. Let's go back here.
so it's almost time for coffee. Oh, actually, you can. There's another entrance here um, to go back onto the subway. They got TGI Fridays here as well. Not sure if they have that in your country. It's like a chain of restaurants slash pubs. Bus terminal. Uh, let's have a look. On screen. I like also, it has a good vibe to it, but it's really quiet and small. Get a good view from here, there. The church. All right, let's see if I can go a little bit into Central Station. Aegon restaurant. We have that too in Solantuna where I live. It's quite funny how after more than 250 walks I somehow came up with a method to always have like a 25-30 minute walk. I don't even do it on purpose. It just happens to end up like that. All right, Central Station. Very nice, nicely built here. Some artwork everywhere, very nice. Oh, this espresso house is open. Oh, finally some people. Here's more, <laughs> more people. Oh, there's like pubs up there. It feels a bit like an airport, this uh, central station. Nice. All right, that's it from Oslo Central Station, city center. Thank you for watching, see you tomorrow.